That's the first bale of silage and wrap for the winter. That only means one thing, doesn't it? Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now we've got a very busy day tomorrow. We are going over to Thornton to wean some of the young stock from over there because we've been struggling for grass on that ground. It's a little bit sort of lighter. It doesn't grow grass like it does at home. We've got no end of grass here. Over there, we've been supplementary feeding those guys with some straw for about a month now. So we thought we'd take a few miles away, bring them home, put them in the shed. But first, I've got to get all bedded up and ready for them to get here. Because we're bringing young stock in, that's one of the herbal lay bales. And it's off the older herbal lay, it's not off the new stuff. So not so much chicory and that in there, but still really good stuff. Right, now that's done. Clean up the mess and bed the yard. It does feel proper wintry having to do this. I think we can officially say that it's autumn. Perhaps not winter, because the cows aren't coming in, but definitely autumn now. Oh, if you haven't seen these, I love these things. We've got these everywhere, we have them for all sorts. That one's for net wrap, that one's for sided wrap. Keeps the yard dead tidy. Just super handy, we've got one for chemical cans, we've got one for fertilizer bags. They're brilliant. Now we don't normally, put young stock in these sheds. These sheds are really the ones that we use for cows because we carve in here. However, you all know my story about TB. I go on all the time. Although I have some incredible news on the TV front. A little bit more about that in a bit. The shed we normally put them in is that round top barn there in the background. However, that's got cows in it at the minute. They're going pretty sharpish. So we're gonna stick them in here for the time being. Because we're not bringing cows in, it's not gonna be such a big issue. The only trouble I've got is bedding this is gonna be more effort than normal because I normally would bed everything with the McHale. However, I think I'm gonna to have to roll these ones out this year. Reason for that is because we've stacked this shed full of straw. And now we've left this passageway here because we couldn't get an extra straw bale in. And we thought, oh, well, I can back down there and blow it in as I normally do, because that's what I would generally do. There's normally a feed passage down here. But the only problem with that is the exhaust is gonna be facing those bales. And I'm a little bit worried, and so is dad, that a spark might come out of the exhaust and we'll have a very big bonfire. Now, dad did mention I could draw down and back out, but I could end up getting a bit stuck down there because it's not very wide, you can probably tell. So I just think they're only young stock, probably should just roll the bales out. The last thing we want this year is that shed going up in flames. Oh my God, can't even believe I forgot to mention it. 3200 is back. Oh, how I've missed it. Don't ever leave me again. Honestly, it was like Christmas getting that thing back. They'll spread that out nicely when they get in here. Right, I'll go and do a few more jobs. And when dad's done pre-emergent spraying, we'll get the big cattle trailer on. It's a beast, isn't it? Really, really lucky to have that thing. Dad bought that when I was in primary school. 2002, I've just looked on the plate. I think I was last year at primary school. Those of you who are trying to work out how old I am. It has got a few bits and pieces that need touching up on it. It started to rust in a couple of places. I need to plate up. We have done the doors up and stuff inside, but it's just an absolute weapon. We are super lucky to have that. It was a cracking buy by Dad back in the day. She's all hooked up now, ready for tomorrow. Sleep well, girl. See you in the morning. So we're at Thornton and the view is fantastic. The weather 
it's pretty miserable. What we've done is we've created a pen there with the hurdles just to make this pen a little bit bigger because there's quite a lot of animals to get in here, about 114, I think there is all together. We've put some hurdles on that end there to sort of make a bit of an alleyway. There is then an electric fence. We're hoping to bring the cows from the other side up through this electric fence into this pen, get them in here. Then we'll draft off the cows, leave the calves in here and I'll drive all the way around. The big cattle trailer is behind that hedge and we should be able to get them in. I think we're gonna to have to do two trips with the big cattle trailer. Dad's here with his Polaris. And then on the second trip, he'll bring the little cattle trailer behind the Land Rover. And hopefully we should get them all on. But they are pretty big, although they're not as big as ones at home. But like I say, these ones have suffered a little bit more with the drought. Well, I've found the cows. And you can just see Dad appearing in the mist as well. Very narrow gateway. With me. Well, that was a very wet experience. Absolutely chucking it down. We're just heading the long way round now to get back to the trailer because I don't want to risk going through the calves uh, just in case they beat us at a gate, to be honest. We could soon lose them and we'd have to start all over again. So we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to head round now, get hooked up, and then we can start and load up the first load. I mentioned earlier about how much I love this trailer. Do you know what my favorite thing about it is? That stick there. Hydraulic backboard. Look at that. 20 years old and he's got a hydraulic backboard. Some bus. I think we're gonna have to get an extra hurdle for that end there, bring it from the other end of the pen. Pushed open up now, ready for loading up. We've got three pens on here, so I think we'll have about eight in the pen, something like that, hopefully. The back pen's a bit bigger. You can normally get to one or two on there because that's an extra two foot longer, but you don't want to pack them in too tight. Dad's just been getting the electric fences all wrapped up that we use to guide them into the pen. He's just turned up now. They look pretty decent, not too bad. Still chucking it down though, absolutely soaking. Right, let's get on. Right, they're loaded up, back to the yard, get them unloaded, put them in the shed. I think I'm gonna have to get a new coat. I don't think they look too bad now they're in. Really noisy though. They've stopped now, I've started talking. We will worm and fluke these as well. Once they've settled down, we'll get them across the weigher as well and uh, see what their weaning weights are and all that kind of stuff. But we'll just let them settle in for the weekend. Give them some good grub. I'm sure they'll be all right. Oh, 
And those of you who've waited patiently for the amazing TV news, well, long story short, when we went to book our next test, which would be the beginning of December, the vet said that if you fill in this paperwork and send it off, because our last test, there was an inconclusive reactor back in July, when they slaughtered it, they didn't find any TB, no lesions, no nothing. If we fill in this paperwork, they'll let us off and we can be TB free because we've done essentially three clear tests, which is incredible news. So we, we filled it in, sent it off, and within a couple of hours, they were back on the blower, said, you're free of TB, they sent us all the paperwork, and we're now TB free again, which is amazing. It's such an incredible weight off our shoulders. Both dad and I said we just feel so much better, even though we didn't think it was getting to us, obviously was. Now TB is obviously a massive bummer, and if you want to see how it affected us when we got TB, when we actually went down with it the first time, click on the video on the screen for you right now. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a like and a subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking on my face, and whatever you get up to this weekend, have a great one, and I'm going to see you all soon. Bye!